and by proportioning oil in there shifts that spool that way so the auxiliary spool shifts back and forth with electrohydraulic pilot pressure a couple other things we want to finish off with on this valve I want to talk about the one-way flow restrictor so going back to the schematic uh, I'm going to go back to the original schematic we looked at. When we're looking at this schematic, we saw this one-way flow restrictor. It's basically an orifice and a check valve, and that was in the line going down to the head end of the lift cylinders. So that would be this work port here. That's our head end port for the lift cylinders. That valve, as complex as it looked on the schematic, is just basically a piece of bent up steel with a hole through it. I've got some tag wire on it just so I don't lose it. And it just sits in this work port. So if you've got a rubber tire skid steer, uh, these are less common on track machines, but to keep a rubber tire machine from being tippy, they want to slow down the descent of the lift cylinders. So when the oil's returning from the cylinders here, because you're letting it out to tank uh, in that position, if you're letting oil go through here and back out to actually back to the open center flow path, then it's got to return through the hole in that, the orifice basically in that one way flow restrictor. No seals on it, it's just steel on steel in there. Uh, and then when you're raising the loader frame, this will just move up against the fitting that's screwed into this port and oil will, will go around the clearance around the outside of the valve and it'll travel to the cylinder unimpeded. They don't want to slow down the, the raise speed of the machine, they just want to slow down the descent of the loader frame. So that's our one-way flow restrictor. Schematic symbol looks like that, a check valve and then an orifice, so one-way flow unrestricted through the check valve. But if it comes back, it's going to slam that check valve shut, but the check valve has a hole through it, represented by the orifice symbol. So again, that goes in that way. You would not want to get that in upside down. If you did get that in upside down, your lift would be very slow, and your descent would be very fast. And there are different size orifices on different models of the machine. Uh, if there is one in a machine that's on tracks, it's going to have a very large hole in it relative to a machine on rubber tires. So I think I've covered the majority of things here. I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, regeneration and the fact that this valve is a modified series, but I'll do that in another segment.